हेलो बच्चो लेट रीड द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन सेज डेट अ पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम इज ड्रॉप फ्रॉम हाइट एज एब ऑफ द ग्राउंड एट द सेम टाइम एन अदर पार्टिकल ऑफ द सेम मास इज थ्रोन वर्टिकली अपवर्ड फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड विथ स्पीड ऑफ रूट अंडर टू जी एच इफ द कोलाइड हेड ऑन कम्प्लीटली इन इलेस्टिकली द टाइम टेकन फॉर द कम्बाइंड मास टू रीच द ग्राउंड इन यूनिट्स ऑफ रूट ओवर एच बाई जी इज so we will solve this question first of all we will see what will be the key concept used in this question the key concept used in this question will be at the time of collision at the time of collision initial momentum will be equal to final momentum so if we have two bodies here in body a it has a mass m and it is dropped from a height h above the ground this is ground so this height h h now another body b with the same mass h with the same mass m this body b is thrown upwards With a velocity v is equal to root over 2 gh. So the time for collision t1. This is time for collision. That will be equal to t1. That will be equal to h by root over 2 gh. That is h by v. Root over two g h. Now after t one, what will happen after t one? B a will be equal to zero minus g t one because zero is the initial speed of the mass m and what which is body a. So that will be zero minus g into h by root over two g h. So that will be equal to minus root over g h by two. This is the v a after t one and v b. That will be equal to initial speed of particle b is root over two g h minus g t one. So that will be equal to root over g h. Sorry, root over two g h minus g into H by root over two G H, so that will be equal to root over G H root over two minus one by root over two. This will be maybe at the time of collision we have p initial is equal to p final that is initial momentum is equal to final momentum or initial momentum is m v a plus M B B and final momentum will be two M B F. B F is the final velocity of both the bodies combined, and mass will be two M because the collision is inelastic. So that will be M will get cancelled out. From here, B A is minus root over G H by two plus B B root over G H into Root over two minus one by root over two, and V F. That is root over two V F. So solving from solving for V F, we will get it as V F is equal to zero. And if we calculate the height from ground at which collision takes place. So height from ground at which collision takes place that we can calculate h is equal to this will be let us call this as s dash so that will be h minus half g t one square so that will be equal to h minus half g t one h by root over two g h so it will be root over T one is root over 
h by 2g so t1 squared will be h by 2g sorry t1 squared will be h by 2g so this will be h minus h by 4 so this will be 3h by 4 so height from ground at which collision takes place is 3h by 4 so time that will be equal to root over 2h dash by g that will be root in root over 2 into 3h by 4 by g so that will be equal to root over 3h by 2g that is root over 3 by 2 root over h by g so the correct answer will be root over 3 by 2 which is option d hope you all understood it well best of luck